Inception is a science fiction film directed by Christopher Nolan and stars an ensemble cast including Leonardo DiCaprio, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tom Hardy and Ellen Page. And the film is about a group of thieves who steal information by going into people's dreams. I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't think this film is the masterpiece everyone claims it is. For me, this film is just good. Like, it's a good movie, there weren't that many problems that I could find. This was a good movie, it's just, I wouldn't call it a masterpiece myself. And I know a lot of people said that this was a revolutionary film in the science fiction genre. To me, really? Revolutionary? This is what we would call this film? Like, don't get me wrong, I praise the film for its originality, the concept and the idea, but really, this film is the big step up in science fiction. The reason I don't think this film is a masterpiece is the film just didn't wow me. At no point in the film did the film make me go, wow, that was completely amazing, that blew my mind. Like, nothing like that ever happened. There were scenes that kept me on the edge of my seat, but that was mainly because of the music by Hans Zimmer. But throughout this two and a half hour film, nothing wowed me. Nothing blew my mind. Nothing impressed me. I just enjoyed the film for what it was. A science fiction film with an interesting idea, concept, and a visual marvel. Before I get into what I liked, I'm gonna get one thing I really didn't like about this film, and that is the writing. The writing in this film I just found to be pretentious, beyond belief. Now, in some other film's cases, I don't mind pretentious writing, but the fact that the majority of the first hour is just nailing this pretentious writing in your head, it really pissed me off. The entire first hour, they kept going on and on on how dreaming works, and how these thieves create dreams in their own specific way, how to populate it with their own thing, how to create the world in the dream. And I know the first hour is just setting up the Inception heist, but it takes an hour before the Inception heist starts. So for the first hour, they're just nailing in this writing into your head that just gets annoying after a while. So those are my gripes, everything else I really liked. First thing I have to mention, the visual effects are amazing. And it's because of the visual style in this film that we see a lot of films now use this visual style. For example, the latest Marvel movie, Doctor Strange. Another thing I liked about the film was the setup to the Inception heist. And I know I said the writing just gets pretentious, but honestly, the setup for the heist itself was interesting enough. The characters themselves, I would say they were okay. I wouldn't say they were, you know, the greatest characters on film. And once the heist starts, that's when the film got more enjoyable for me. And for the last hour and a half of the film, I really, really enjoyed it. Before I wrap up, I do have one more gripe with the film, and that were the action scenes. They weren't that impressive. Like, they were nowhere near the level of the Dark Knight action scenes, but I don't know, I can barely remember these action scenes. And I know the action scenes weren't the point of the film. The point of the film was the dream within a dream aspect of it, like the science fiction aspect of the film. But I felt like the action scenes could have been better than what they were. Overall, I liked this movie. And while I wouldn't say this film was a masterpiece, I can understand why people call it a masterpiece. The visual style is something we've never seen before. The concept and the idea is the most original thing in any science fiction film I've seen in a while. But I've gotta be straight up, this film didn't blow my mind like it did with everyone else's. And while the problems I've stated do annoy me to a level, for a majority of this film, I thought this film was fantastic. And I'm gonna give Inception an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. As always, I'm Netix5. Thank you so much for watching.